Welcome back to Inside Workforce Development. I'm Melinda Kelsey. Joining me today is Bob Ravner, Executive mm -hmm. Vice President and Chief People Officer of Dollar General. Again, so glad that you're here, Bob. We've got so many good things going on in the state of Tennessee, and I, I do want to follow up a little bit on your role as the Chairman of the State Workforce Board. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about that just a little bit. Well, first of all, uh, it's an honor and a privilege to serve with such great people and and to really get deeply involved with uh, what's going on in the state. Uh, you know, I've been in corporate America for almost 30 years, and it's really the first time I've been able to dive deep, and, and I'm so proud of the people that work for the state and how dedicated they are to making the state better, and uh, not only for employers to come in, but for a workforce that's going to be competitive. And uh, what the board's able to do, first of all, it's made up of a uh, cross-section of representatives from across the state, from corporate America, from the legislative side, from the, the state and, and other places. And you bring all of these minds together with a common cause of creating uh, better opportunities and a, a, a better path for the state of Tennessee to succeed. And uh, been really happy with the, the, the ideas and uh, the sharing that goes on with what the state workforce uh, elements do to uh, ensure that we've got a, a, a workforce that's better equipped and better able to meet the demands of the 21st century. To, to remain competitive, and we, we've talked about this on previous shows, Tennessee is leading in so many areas where other states are kind of lagging, and we love that, but we do have to remain competitive educationally and to make sure that we're filling in, I uh, call it the domino effect, so when, when Dollar General is promoting someone from within, you've got to backfill those positions. Is, is that not correct? Well, that, that's correct, especially when you're in a company like ours that's growing, there are going to be ongoing needs for better talent, more talent, and uh, when you're competing with uh, other states mm -hmm. for uh, workforce and uh, as people are making choices about not only where to locate themselves and their families, but as corporations make their choices, they're going to be looking at places where they can hire and train a competitive workforce, and that's why it's so important for the state of Tennessee. It is, and I, you know, I, I always, you know how I'm passionate I am about uh, the project that Dollar General sponsors. One, two things, one being adult education is critical. Um, I think Dollar General took the lead way before everybody else um, kind of put adult education on the forefront. How did that get started? Why was that such an important part of Dollar General in the inception many years ago? Well, as you know, the landscape continues to change. Uh, there's technology changes, there's the competitive changes, uh, the demographics and the economic changes are all out there. And so people have to have a mindset of continuous learning and what I would call lifelong learning. And unless you can provide those opportunities for people within organizations, they're going to be stagnating and not going to be able to meet the changing needs that are demanded in order to continue to thrive. And so uh, Dollar General has seen that as critically important for the future of our organization, which is why it's been really a cornerstone of how we continue to drive our, uh, our key impact and, and opportunities within the organization. You're to be applauded on that because I think that in the workforce, and I don't know if you, like if I wanted to go to work for Dollar General, do you require high school equivalency or is that something that you would work with someone and if I do or do not have one, how, how would I apply at Dollar General? Could I go into the store? What positions, how would I uh, kind of funnel through this rather than getting mm -hmm. lost in the, in the system? So. Uh, most employers today are doing their applications online mm -hmm. and so just like uh, most other places uh, you can even use your smartphone now to apply online with Dollar General. Technology. Technology. <laughs> uh, you know one thing we do know is that uh, of anything more people than, than not are going to have smartphones with them and uh, the more mobile you can be as an employer the more likely it is you're going to get sure. people to uh, to apply and so they can go through uh, dollargeneral.com uh, dgcareers.com. All you have to do is input Dollar General and it'll get, take you to the website and you'll be able to apply online. But uh, doing it online and then it goes into the system that is based on what you're applying for, the qualifications needed for that job, and then those get matched up and sure. discussions take place. And it could be jobs anywhere from people that start in the stores in what we call store operations to our distribution centers, the supply chain network, mm -hmm. uh, or any number of corporate opportunities across the gamut of uh, uh, human resources, finance, 
merchandising, as well as some of the other technical uh, elements like IT uh, and uh, wow. other key components within any corporate organization. That's incredible. So if you, you know, just you don't want to work the cash register or be in customer service, you could actually be in IT or be in, in the management piece or whatever. And that leads into the other piece that I'm so passionate about with, with Dollar General as well is Paychecks for Patriots. You um, took the initiative, brought that to our agency, and you know it has been recognized nationally. The focus on hiring our military, I know you served in the United mm -hmm. States Navy, mm -hmm. and thank you for your service. You. To, to be able to encourage our military as they're returning back, they're, once again, an untapped resource to fill the gap uh, within our workforce system. Talk about that. Sure. Well. I'm one of the fortunate ones that have been on both sides of that. So I have served in the military and so I've seen firsthand the caliber of individuals that come into our military and, and serve. Uh, I, I've witnessed firsthand and I've seen on the other side, on the corporate side, the training, the screening, uh, the capabilities that are built through those that go through the military. And when they come out of there, uh, they've gained a tremendous amount of life experiences that propel them and, and help them in the private sector, uh, they learn a lot of things, working closely with others, uh, tight, tight discipline, uh, self-reliance, uh, all of these skills, and, and many of them, uh, most organizations don't have the time or resources to be able to instill in others, and what the military veteran brings to any organization are those things already there, Sure. And now all you have to really train them on are the technical skills of the job. And so uh, I've always seen it as a, a real positive for any organization to promote and, and bring the veteran community into the organization because they're already pre-screened, they're already highly trained, and they are already adept at uh, the skills and the, and the qualifications necessary to succeed further in life. Sure. Yeah, I think it's, it, again, reiterates your commitment and Dollar General's commitment to, to make sure that we do have a sustainable workplace, workplace and that you also expand that to the military spouses as well. So uh, that impacts the entire family. So uh, thank you all for doing that. It's well, really important. Th thank you, Melinda. And, and you know, I, I would uh, love to say it's all altruistic, but at the same time, it makes good business sense. Sure. And if you think about a, a chain of stores like Dollar General, where we've got almost 13,000 now across the country, we've got uh, on our 14th distribution center, as the military community gets transferred, odds are there are opportunities for those who are being transferred. So that would include military spouse sure. or family members as they're moving with their military commitments as well. Absolutely. Don't go away. We'll be right back.